Welcome to eMedia. In this tutorial, I will explore how to create eMedia resources using the Open Author tool. Open Author allows you to create and share your own educational resources within the eMedia community. Before you begin, be sure that you have logged in to eMedia using your My UEN credentials. This will give you access to the eMedia creation tools. If you need help logging in or if you need any other eMedia support, you can send a help request by clicking on the support button found on the side of each page. To create an eMedia resource, start by clicking the Create button located at the top of the page. Then, click on the Create Resource button under Open Author. Now, I'm ready to start building my resource. In this example, I am going to create a third grade vocabulary lesson plan. I can start by adding a title for my resource, and then I can add an image that will become the thumbnail image for my resource in eMedia. Next, I will add sections where all the information about my resource will be contained. I will give my section a title, and then add information, images, hyperlinks, tables, math equations, whatever is needed using the Rich Content Editor. In each section of my resource, I also have the option to attach files that go along with my resource. For example, educators who teach this lesson plan will need a copy of a vocabulary graphic organizer. By clicking on the paperclip icon, I can attach the graphic organizer so educators can download it. I can also add instructor notes that only educators can see. If you have already created your resource using Google Docs, this button is for you. It will allow you to import your Google Doc, your text, your images, tables, everything that was in your Google Doc directly into Open Author so you do not have to recreate your entire resource. If I would like to, I can also collaborate with another educator on this resource by adding a co-author. At any point during the creation process, I can save my work and come back to it later. To find the draft of my resource, I will click on My Account, then My Items. I can see the draft of my resource in my list of items. To continue working on it, I can click on the title and then click Edit. I can now expand each section of my resource to continue my work. When I am ready, I can preview my resource to see what it will look like in the instructor view or the student view. When I am sure my resource is ready for the eMedia community, I can click on the Next button. I will now be taken to the Overview and Metadata page for my resource. This page is very important because the information I add here will help other educators find my resource when they are searching eMedia. First, I will add an overview to give others a brief description of what my resource is all about. Then, I will select a license for my resource based on what rights I want to give others. In this case, the license I choose will allow others to borrow and remix my work as long as they give me attribution and don't use my work commercially. Choose the license that works best for you. As I continue down the page, I will select the most relevant choices for each type of metadata on the list. It is very important that I tie my resource to the correct Utah Core standards as well. When I am finished entering all my metadata, I will check this box to indicate that I have the rights to the content I am submitting. You should only add content for which you have obtained proper rights and permission or content that is your own original work. When I click Publish, my resource is now part of the eMedia library and is ready for other educators to use. For more information, tutorials, and highlights, 
visit the Utah's Online Library product page at uen.org slash uol or visit the Getting Started with eMedia Hub. If you have additional questions, feel free to send an email to emedia at uen.org. Thank you.